Hi everyone. Um, I don't know I just got I have just realized I have stuff all over me from cooking downstairs with Carly and Eric and I just want to do a quick read aloud for everybody today. I wanted to read a couch for a llama. I don't know what the llama has to do with a couch but we're gonna find out. It's by Leah Gilbert. Oh look if you open it up this couch the llama is sitting on all different kinds of couches sitting on all different ways on a certain red couch. Let's see. The Lago family's couch was very well loved. It was the perfect spot for snuggling and reading, card playing, fort building, and hide and seek. They had many good times together. Ooh, this couch, look at this couch. I know my family snuggles up on the couch when we watch movies. We just finished Onward last night. The pets are on the couch. Our pets like our couch too, our two little cats. Maybe a few many too good times. Whee! Oops. Hey! One day they realized it was time for a new couch. Look. Do you guys jump on your couch at home? Look, they're making the cushions and a trampoline. The dog ran on the couch. It looks comfy to me. All right, let's see. So they piled into the family car and off they went to find one. Oh, taking going furniture shopping. That's fun. On that was not too big or too small, but just right. The Lago family found the perfect couch. One that's not too big and not too small. It sounds like, it sounds like the um, Three Little Bears, the Goldilocks. Too hot, too cold. They're looking for the perfect couch. Look, they found one and they're putting it on their car. Ah, that doesn't look right. That could be something's gonna happen. I bet it's gonna fall off. What do you think? But on the way home, something went wrong. Whoosh. You know what? My prediction was right. It fell off. Llama found a couch. <laughs> sniff, sniff, snippity sniff. Now, first of all, there's a llama in the middle of nowhere. Huh. She's sniffing the couch and all the smells. I bet your pets at home sniff things that come into the house that's new. All the new smells. Llama bayed, hello, to the couch. But the couch didn't say anything. I wonder what a llama sounds like. Huh. I may have to Google that when I get off. Llama tried to share his lunch, but the couch didn't seem to have much of an appetite. Well, he's a very nice llama, isn't he? Look, he gave it some hay, some grass. That's nice to share. So Llama ate the couch instead. Oh, you hear that noise? It's the rumbling of the, um, garage door. Mr. Sperry's home. It tasted worse than a dry, dusty tumbleweed. The couch was useless. Take it away. But it just wouldn't budge. Huh. It's trying to push it out of the way. <laughs> Look at him with his feet. The Lago family noticed something was missing. Oh no! Where's the couch? Meanwhile, Llama decided to just ignore the couch and pretend it wasn't there. This got very, very boring. <laughs> they must have been singing or something as a family and then realized the couch was gone. The couch and the llama. So the llama snuck up and pounced and bounced and bounced and whirled and twirled and bumped and jumped. Look at this. He's using it like a trampoline like the kids used it before. Look. Whee! 
<laughs> I'd like to see a llama do that. And fell down in smooshy moosh fluffity puff cushions. He actually finally completely loved the couch. Well, yeah, I got to do all those tricks on it. Look, he's making himself comfy. The Lago family found their couch and also a llama. He's taking a rest. He's snoozing. Specifically a stubborn couch loving kind of llama. They had a great idea. Don't worry llama. We'll be back. Huh. So they sitting trying to get the llama off and get their couch. They loaded their couch back up on their car. I hope it doesn't fall off this time. Look at him. He's so sad. See? Look at his little face. What a surprise! A couch for llama! Ah! They're using their own couch. That's a good idea. Look at the dog. The dog's like, don't take my couch. At the end of the day, the Lago family was happy with their, their new couch. <laughs> but Llama was happiest of all. Oh, look at the end. Remember the beginning where there was all those, the, all the red couches, and he was sitting on the red couches, all the red couch differently. So now look at this end. Ah, oh, he's sitting on the blue couch all differently. So both of them got their couches. The Lago family got a new red couch and they didn't know what to do with the old couch. So they gave it to Llama. That was very nice. And he's sound asleep in the field. I hope you enjoyed A Couch for Llama. I will read another story tomorrow and have a great day.